Christopher Venberg won silver in the 1500 meters of the Europeans. Most of this field have international medals to their name. Three and three quarter laps of the track. Starting with Basil Mounier of Belgium, and it's a good Belgian sporting name, this. The best international result, seventh in the 800 meters of the Europeans in Grosseto in June. He's a gardener by profession. Alongside the European champion over 800 and 1500 meters, Louis Radios of France, silver in the 1500 meters, bronze in the eight in Doha. The Pan Am champion over 1500 meters from Toronto. For Canada, Mitchell Chase. He's a lifeguard by profession. For Australia, Dion Kenzie, the world record holder from Sydney on the 1st of April. Bronze in the 1500 in the last two world champions for Dion Kenzie from Tasmania. Alongside of the Czech Republic, fifth in the 1500 meters in the Euros, Daniel Heiner, former footballer. Alongside him, from Mexico, fourth in the world championships over 1500 in Doha. A bricklayer by trade, Angel Enriquez Torres from Mexico. Here is the world champion from Doha and silver in the 800 meters for Tunisia, Abes Saidi. And silver in the 1500 meters of the European Championships, bronze in the eight. It's Christopher Weinberg of Denmark. Radius beat him in both those races. Can he get revenge here? Good quality field this. Final of the men's 1500 meters. And they'll have to stand up. Not because of the call by our Mexican official Octavio, who does that quite regularly for the Mexican competitors. I'm amazed we heard him with a crowd of 30,000 here, but. He has some voice. And we have some field here for the men's 1500 meters final. Weinberg Saidi, Enriquez Torres, Heine, Kenzie, Chase, Radius, and Mounier. Saidi taking his position on the inside, the world champion that they have to be, but on his outside and his shoulder for Australia, Dion Kenzie. Very successful over the 1500 meters final in the last two global championships. Basil Mounier, very strong at European level. Seventh in the 800 meters final at the European Championships. And the Belgian Radius there also. The European champion over eight and 1500 meters. Quite a slow pace to start off with, but it's not about times here. It's about the medal. Saidi. Well, they're having to man mark him, but he's made his move on the outside. Kenzie well positioned. Radius on his inside. They're trotting along well. Three laps to go. Well, Saeed, he went from about first to sixth in a couple of seconds, then had to weave his way out of the traffic and now move back alongside uh, the Australian in Kenzie. So Saeed and Kenzie, two of the favourites doing the early running, with Mounier just dropping off the pace after uh, less than a lap. Now they're all still largely well bunched together. Saeed made a big move to go on the outside. For Tunisia, Kenzie still up there. Saidi is leading. Second place, it's Enriquez Torres for Mexico. Third is Kenzie for Australia. On the outside, Vinberg's now made a move for Denmark, but he's still in fourth position. Still not a lot between them. Heiner's well placed there for the Czech Republic also, and Chase for Canada. Leading the way is the world champion, Eber Saidi, who's taken on most of this field and beaten them in that World Championships in the Saeed Val Sunium Stadium in downtown Doha back last October. He is our leader. Two laps to go. The pace is beginning to accelerate, but still Saeed has them where he wants them. Enriquez towards up in a second from Mexico. Well, Saeed has an opportunity here to dictate the pace of the race. It was very slow through the first 350 metres. Now it's cranking up and Chase will need to do some of exactly that as he starts to drop off the leading five as well. The Australian Kenzie sitting in third with uh, Enrique Torres in second. Now Kenzie makes it a little bit of a move along the outside and comes up towards challenging Saidi. But Saidi's pace is still good. And Kenzie drops back again. And the Frenchman Radius also there. So it's a race in four at the moment, but still you feel Saidi is dictating it. 
Just about 600 laps to go in this men's 1500 meters T38 final and leading them through for Tunisia is Addis Saibi. Second place, the man who missed out on the medals in the World Championship final, Angel Enriquez Torres. And now, Kenzie's made a big move. The bell is on the way. Kenzie leads for Australia. Saidi really being challenged here, and strongly so. Ruddy is for France. Moves up into third place for Mexico in fourth is Enriquez Torres. And away they go. There's the bell. It's Dion Kenzie for Australia. Bronze in the World Championship final. Saidi took the gold. Saidi on the outside. Kenzie on the inside. Saidi with the overtaking maneuver. 300 to go. They go past the 325 at the 1200 meter mark. Back straight, Saidi with Kenzie on the inside. Ready is jousting at the moment for the bronze medal with Enriquez Torres. It's a great battle for gold as well. It's Saidi holding off Kenzie for the time being. 200 to go. Has the slight lead as the world champion from Tunisia. Kenzie's not given up yet. Here comes the final belt. They're still going full belt. Radius up in the third and closing. Now Saidi with a chance to put his foot down for home. Kenzie in second, Radius third, and Saidi looks to have done enough. The world champion is going to take the Paralympic crown. It's Abba Saidi who wins for Tunisia. Kenzie the silver for Australia. Radius the bronze for France. 4-13-82 is a new Paralympic Games record. Looks like fourth place for Chase of Canada and fifth for Weinberg of Denmark. But how well he moved at the right time. Abbasidi of Tunisia takes the Paralympic gold. Well, the great thing about that race is that the runners who filled the first three positions all had their opportunities. It wasn't as if they were bumped out of it. Saidi acknowledging the applause of the crowd. Munier crossing the line. Kenzie made his move, being helped to his feet now, which is always great to see. That time by Daniel Heiner of the Czech Republic. It's 80, Paralympic record 4.13.81. Dion Kenzie really asked the question of Abba Saidi. Kenzie took the lead for a while. But he found that the Tunisian had just a little bit too much and he will settle for the silver. Great moment for the island state of Tasmania. Radius the bronze. Saidi too good. A yeah, great result for Abbas Saidi. Went in the shorter distances in the last two Paralympic Games. His strength is this. Silver in the 400 in Beijing in 08. He finished fourth in the 400 meters final at London 2012. But now back to his natural distance. He's a natural champion. But Dion Kenzie, a brilliant result. Bronzes in the last two world championships and now a Paralympic silver. And Louis Radius as well. Well, it was silver for him in Doha at the world championships. It is bronze for him here. So they've all been able to locate a flag. Kenzie made a good start. Saidi did get bumped a little bit towards the back in the, in the first couple of hundred metres, then surged again to the front. Kenzie asked him a few questions in the last lap and a half. And Saidi had the resources and the pace. Here's where Kenzie made his move. And he did make Saidi run some extra meters to turn out of the home straight but Saidi looked to be moving the more easily there's a slightly longer stride a classic middle distance runner and as hard as he worked Kenzie Saidi had him covered it's what marks him out as a fine global champion. They knew in advance the rest of the field that he was the man to beat and they were going to have to beat him by taking him on head on. Kenzie did that. But couldn't find a way past him to the line. Abbas Saidi takes the gold again.
It's his second Paralympic Games gold. He won the 4x4 back in Athens in 2004. It's a great feeling for Abbas Saidi again. And Kenzie disappointment at first. It's silver for him here, but it's still a magnificent result. It is the result of his life in Saidi's too. Saidi's first Paralympic individual gold medal. Paralympic record as well, 4.32.04.